Hangan kelas. Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and today I'm planting out some more ranunculus. So um, obviously a little Harry Potter spoof in the beginning, but I am going to be planting these ranunculus out. These are the uh, amandine, amandine mix. So it's not the pastel, but it's the regular amandine mix. And I'm gonna be planting them about four inches apart. They look super healthy. They're part of the first batch that I did. And up until about two days ago, my ground was still frozen. <laughs> Imagine that. So we are, today it was 65 degrees and beautiful outside and the ground has finally released its frost. It was down a couple inches. But anyway, so I have been dying to get these in the ground. They've been dying to get in the ground. And now this just happened to be a spot that we had prepared for peonies last year. And then I, I kind of like cut back on the number of peonies that I ordered. So we ended up with this row in between a couple of peony rows. So it's perfect. And uh, I'll be able to probably almost fit all. Well, we'll see. We'll see how far one tray will go and we'll see, I have uh, five or six more trays. So I might be able to get all of the ranunculus in this row. Let's figure it out. Nope, nope, nope. Hey. Oh. Case in point, <laughs> this is exactly why I put these stakes here because I have to run, hey, hey. Stop. Hey, hey, don't even, don't even Raven, Raven, go. Hey, hey, go. Oh God, ah! <laughs> it's a good thing I love my chickens. So this Hortanova netting is going around. Um, I just was gonna put it up after. Apparently I have to put it up now but this is what I used to protect my tulips from deer last year. And this is what I will be using, apparently, to protect the ranunculus from chickens. So I just used uh, these six inch staples that were have been in the ground all winter. I just took them up from that other location. And I'm gonna be wrapping them around. Okay, so I got one side done. <laughs> so now I have to plant more. Just throwing out chunks of grass because we just tilled this and there's still some grass chunks in here from the uh, just the weeds coming up through. We are now entering the season where my camera has dirt all over it and I am happy about that. I don't even care. So anyway, I've got all of the Amandine, Amandine ranunculus in and uh, I only took up about two feet of space and I did pack them in tightly. I did them four inches apart both ways. Four inches between rows, four inches between plants. And I am gonna leave a space of about a foot in between the varieties because I did not do that um, with my daffodils and my tulips in the past. And anytime I wanted to go from one side of the row to the other, I was unable to do that because there simply just wasn't space. I had to go all the way around to get to the other side. So I am going to leave a space of just enough to walk through. Kind of gonna pat it down. <laughs> it's just gonna be just enough to walk through and I left some space on the side. I mean, these are gonna get bigger and fill up, but not too much. Uh, the ranunculus don't get enormous. So I'm excited about this. Uh, I'm hoping that they're gonna be okay and they look fantastic right now. Look at that. It's phenomena. It's amazing. Get in there. So I was planting this tray and I came across a little tag that said super greens. So apparently I had done half this tray with label and half it with super greens. Oh, here's another label. And uh, so I went and grabbed another tray of label and I'm gonna finish off the labels before I plant the super greens because I have a couple more trays of these too. Do you see over there? 
how there's green stakes on the ground, the stakes that look like these, they're laying on the ground. Walk down the aisle, over across, grab a couple of them and bring them back for they me. Add the ground? Nope, they're lying on the ground behind the one that's oh, upright. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. Thank you. Are you wearing Crocs? Yeah. <laughs> Chickens are coming. My speech skill has leveled up. <laughs> what skill? Speech skill. Why is that? Because whenever I kept them barking and they kept chasing me, then I was talking to them to come. So your speech skill has leveled up for chickens? Oh, come on, you're recording. <laughs> it was recording. I actually just found another tray of LaBelle, so <laughs> a third tray of LaBelle's going in. That's it for today. That's the ranunculus for today. Let me go over a couple of details about these particular ranunculus. I start, ranunculus, ranunculus. I started them, oh gosh, where was it? Hold on, let me look it up. Brad's on the four-wheeler. Told him it's time to get Big Red out. Clearly he agreed. So these ranunculi are 53 days old. They're 53 days old. Now they're supposed to bloom in 90 days. So let's see if in 40 days from now, which would be, that would be Tuesday, May 4th, which would be uh, five or so days, uh, the week before Mother's Day. So that would be uh, amazing. <laughs> if not, I mean, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? But uh, I better get one flower out of these. I better get one flower out of these beauties. Hey babe, got big red out? I named it that, is that okay? <laughs> no, it's not okay. <laughs> what is it? It's just the red four-wheeler. It's the red four-wheeler. Can we call it Clifford? <gasps> no. <laughs> Do I have dirt on my face? Probably. Holy guacamole. Just on Instagram quick, Aaron from Florette put up a GoPro and they put up 12 new hoop houses. I just want one. They're coming, the chickens are coming. Where's my wand? Stupefy! Sorry, it's ridiculous. They better stay away. This is the elder wand, they don't even know. It's chicken proofed. At least if they get in, they can't get out. Go away, go. You're the troublemaker. It's always been you. Let's check it. Let's see. Let's test out my chicken proof cage.
Oh, you son of a gun. You better back out. You better back out. Go, go, go. Looks like I gotta put up deer netting around the dang thing. What the thrip? Well, looks like I gotta put the deer netting up after all. I was hoping that the Horda Nova would be enough, but oh, those little rascals. I think if I'm not over there, they'll be okay, but I can't. Last year, they ate all of them, and I'm not even kidding you when I tell you they ate all of them. Anyway, so four inches apart. People were asking me in the comments on my old ranunculus video um, how I was watering them in the plug trays. Excuse me. You simply bottom water them. So they were in trays and the bottom trays were complete. There were no holes in them. So the plug trays have holes on the bottom, but then those black trays that they sit into do not. So you just pour water into the bottom tray and then they suck up the water and they like it no problem. So anyway, those have been hardening off for uh, over a week now, almost two weeks, a little at a time. We did have some really cold nights. They actually were out on the porch with just one layer of Agrabon, which is a frost cloth. Um, they were down to 17 degrees. The low for that night was actually forecast to be 27 or 28, so I didn't think there was gonna be a problem. I put one layer of Agrabon, the frost cloth, over top of it. I woke up the next morning, it was 17 degrees. So they, I think one tray had a little bit of a frost burn, frost damage on top, but other than that, they were fine, no problem. So I'm really feeling confident that these are gonna be okay for the rest of the season. So tonight's low is only about 48 degrees, so I'm not worried about them tonight, but tomorrow I will go out there and I will put frost cloth on them, not on them, but put it off to the side ready to go in case I do need to put the frost cloth on them. So I'll have it on the ground with some sandbags. I got some sandbags the other day. That way I'm good to go and in case, cause we do, I think in the seven day forecast, we do have a night that's gonna be down to like 18 degrees. So I still have round three of the ranunculus. Those are in the basement. Those are pre-sprouting. They're gonna fill up the rest of that row. And I also have two trays of anemones that are on the porch that I do need to get in the ground. Hopefully I'll be able to get those in the ground tomorrow. I can't describe to you how good it feels to have like filthy hands and to be literally covered in dirt. So good. So this is my most successful year with ranunculus so far and I've yet to have a flower. <laughs> the first year they barely sprouted and then it got too hot too quick. The second year the chickens ate them all. The deer netting is probably a good idea because um, I do have a couple of rabbits. I don't know if rabbits like ranunculus. But this year, it's looking pretty good, guys. The plants look real healthy. I'm really excited. The roots are phenomenal. I'm just, I'm really crossing my fingers that I'm gonna have some blooms off of these guys because, I mean, 1,200 corms, I gotta have one flower, right? <laughs> Frizzle Frazzle? Frizzle Frazzle, you come see me. You weren't trying to eat my stuff. Frizz, Frizzle Frazzle. You are the most beautiful bird. You look a little frazzled, Frizz. Anyway, thanks for my camera's all crooked. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you soon. Nicole had a little chicken. Didn't know the meaning of no. And everywhere that Nicole went, this chicken was sure to go. It followed her to the ranunculus patch one day, and I said, stay away! Hey! Get him out! 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 Get you son of a thrip! How dare you! Away! Who's honking that horn? Honking that horns at me. 432. Could be anyone. Oh my gosh. What the heck? <laughs> oh my, there's fresh poop over here. Looks like cocoa puffs. Guess who's back? Back again. Dickie's back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Oh, 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 oh.